Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This demonstration is about installing and running Storytelling Alice from a USB drive. Storytelling Alice is a student programming environment that 1. enables students to create video stories and 2. enables students to program interactions between characters. Outcome for this video you should be able to download Storytelling Alice install Storytelling Alice on a Windows USB stick to allow for operation on different computers. This will work for XP, Vista, and Windows 7. And finally, verify the installation by creating a Hello World program in Storytelling Alice. Requirements would be Windows Operating System, XP, Vista, or Win 7, USB 2.0 or higher, and a USB flash drive. Additional info comes from the Storytelling Alice download page. To download Storytelling Alice, simply go to the Storytelling Alice website. Once there, you can download StorytellingAlice.zip. You also may want to check out the fact that there's a, a Storytelling Alice guide PDF. It's four pages, uh, very short, and help you get started. So let's download Storytelling Alice Zip. We're going to save it, and I normally like to save everything inside a downloads directory off the C drive, so let's make a folder for Storytelling Alice, new folder, Storytelling Alice, well let's follow the convention that uh, Ms. Keller, her, the person that had created this follows open up storytelling out and we're just going to save this right here uh, we'll come back when the this uh, zip file is uh, completely downloaded and uh, go on and extract it Once the download is complete, we'll simply open a folder, go to Extracted File, right click, Extract All, and again, click. we're going to have to wait a while, click Extract, and we're going to have to wait a while for the extraction to uh, complete, and once it's complete, we'll come back and uh, do the install and create the Hello World program. Once the files have been extracted, we'll just simply notice how we got Storytelling Alice and Storytelling Alice so that if we open this folder we have Slow and Steady Alice which is supposed to work slower or you know if you have a slow computer not enough memory uh, that's supposed to work there and then we have Alice but we're going to copy the whole folder Storytelling Alice right click copy and then we're just simply going to paste it to our uh, USB drive and simply click paste And again, we'll come back when this is through. Once the files are totally downloaded, you've got these are the files on the USB stick. We'll open up Storytelling Alice and we're going to run Alice. And Storytelling Alice, free gift from Carnegie Mellon. And let's close some of these windows here in the background so that we don't, since we're not going to be needing them. Now, one thing I have found is that with XP machines, sometimes loading Storytelling Alice takes as much as five minutes. And I've timed it. So it's a very slow loading program sometimes. In this case, this is a Windows 7 machine, but it's a, actually a virtual machine. So I've noticed that it actually loads a lot slower than it does on the hardware machine. So we'll wait. Maybe we could, uh, and we'll come back. Right now it's 137. 
p.m. We'll come back when uh, right before it it loads. Okay, that didn't take too long. So uh, in Alice, you've got a number of tutorials. We're not going to do any of the tutorials. We're just going to cancel and we'll simply write a, a basic Hello World program. We'll go to File, New World, and we're going to pick Space. Click Open. And we're going to add some objects, add an object. So we got characters and scenes, or create 3D text. I'm going to pick characters. And since this is space, so we're going to pick the future. And we're going to pick Tammy here. Uh, and we're going to click on her at add the instance to the world. And let's make her a little bit bigger, bring her up to the foreground. Just bring her up a little more foreground so that she's a little bit bigger. So now we have Tammy here. So let, let's add, uh, click on Tammy, find out her methods. We'll have her dance. Once we've added Tammy, done adding objects, click on methods for Tammy. We're going to have her dance. Uh, one, Tammy dance length one. I'm doing edit right here. You can see all the uh, things that she's going to be doing. So let's have Tammy Tammy play a sound. So since these are all what we call do together, all these things happen at the same time or happen one after the other. So we'll just simply say Tammy play sound add, and we're going to pick whoosh one here. Uh, we'll have a Tammy play sound on this one. We're going to have, to have her do a whoosh too. And Tammy play sound here. We'll just do whoosh one again. We could have her do the chicken sound, but that's not, uh, doesn't go with this program. It might do whoosh two. And since this is a hello world program, we're going to say, have Tammy say, hello, and click on, enter the string, hello world. Whoops, spell it right. Click OK. So now we've got this, Tammy, and we're going to have her dance. Length, um, and let's play. And that's our Hello World program. And you should be able to run uh, Storytelling Alice off that USB stick and uh, transfer that to different computers. Thank you.